good morning to everyone today we will learn about uh, next lesson a new important lesson that is last lesson uh, that is applied chemistry what are the learning objectives of this lesson so in this lesson you will learn about uh, the different uh, drugs that was used in our day to day life about forensic chemistry about agricultural chemistry about biochemistry about food chemistry about the uh, different types of uh, radiation that was used to treat a particular disease that is radiation chemistry okay so everything uh, electrochemistry so everything we are going to learn in this lesson that is applied chemistry that uh, what is the chemistry that we are applying in our day to day life so that we are going to learn in this lesson so this lesson is very important and interesting topic to be learned okay so first one agricultural and food chemistry so first we are going to learn agricultural and food chemistry agricultural and food chemistry okay so agricultural and food agricultural and food chemistry okay so agricultural chemistry so agricultural chemistry is nothing but it is a chemistry that involves uh, uh, applying of a chemical and biochemical knowledge in agriculture so chemical and biochemical knowledge agriculture apply pandradha enadhu our agricultural chemistry okay so uh, we are going to apply uh, uh, our chemical uh, knowledge and uh, and uh, biochemical knowledge in uh, the plant production or in uh, the uh, crop cultivation so adha da enadhu agricultural chemistry uh, nearly 40% of the global population we are doing agriculture so our uh, india uh, 40% of our global uh, uh, population we are doing agriculture it is the largest uh, self employment so we have to uh, enhance this agriculture we have to improve this agriculture and we have to apply our scientific knowledge in agriculture to increase the yield what are the goals of this agriculture chemistry to increase to increase increase crop yield and livestock to increase crop yield and livestock to increase quality of food production to increase the quality of food production to increase the quality of food production and to reduce the cost of food production and to reduce the cost of food production and reduce the cost of food production so நம்ம அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் கெமிஸ்ட்ரியுடைய எய்ம் கோல்ஸ் என்னென்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா க்ராப் ஈல்டை வந்து இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணுறது எப்படி வந்து க்ராப் ஈல்டு இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணலாம் லைஃப் ஸ்டாக் இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணலாம் தென் குவாலிட்டி அந்த க்ராப்போட குவாலிட்டி எப்படி இன்க்ரீஸ் பண்ணலாம் தென் அந்த காஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் எப்படி ரெடியூஸ் பண்ணலாம் ஸோ இதுதான் நம்முடைய கோல்ஸ் ஆஃப் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி தென் வாட் ஆர் த அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி how we have to apply this agriculture chemistry in agriculture so what are the applications of our agricultural chemistry apdi pathinga we can use it for soil testing so soil test pandradhukku use pannalam soil testing so and the knowledge soil testing okay in chemical fertilizers we can use it in chemical fertilizers then pesticides and insecticides okay pesticides and insecticides pesticides and insecticides so uh, soil testing before doing crop cultivation we have to test the soil ph that is hydrogen ion concentration ph na enadhu hydrogen ion concentration so ph vandu test pananum for a particular uh, soil particular plant when you cultivate it will be it will give good yield for example citrus plants requires alkaline ph so citrus plants neenga cultivate pannona ad alkaline soil la panna alkaline ph ulla soil la panna it will give a good yield okay so citrus plants requires alkaline ph and then white rice rice requires acidic ph so rice ah cultivate pannona ang ph vandu acidic ah irukano and then sugar cane requires neutral ph sugar cane requires neutral ph sugar can cultivate pannona adoda ph vand neutral ah irukanum and not only this ph in soil testing you have to test the texture of the soil okay texture mannodaya thanmai eppadi irukku texture you have to test the texture of the soil and porosity porosity eppadi irukku porosity na the water retain pandra capacity 
அது எப்படி இருக்குது ஸோ இது எல்லாமே நீங்கள் டெஸ்ட் பண்ணணும் ஸோ சாயில் என்ன சாயில் அதை முதல்ல டெஸ்ட் பண்ணணும் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சாயில் இஸ் தேர் பிளாக் சாயில் ரெட் சாயில் கிளே சாயில் நிறைய இருக்குது ஸோ அந்த சாயில் டைப் என்னென்னு டெஸ்ட் பண்ணணும் தென் யூ ஹவ் இட் இஸ் த பிஹெச் தென் அதோட டெக்ஸ்டர் என்ன ஓகே ஈவன் த அப்பியூரன்ஸ் தென் இட்ஸ் போரோசிட்டி அண்ட் ஹவு இட் ரீட்டைன்ஸ் வாட்டர் ஸோ இதெல்லாம் நீங்கள் செக் பண்ணணும் ஸோ செக் பண்ணிவிட்டு தான் யூ ஹாவ் டு கல்டிவேட் ஸோ நம்ம ஆர்டினரியாக விதவுட் பிளாங்க் பிளாங்க் நாலேஜ் விதவுட் எனி நாலேஜ் இஃப் யூ கோ அண்ட் கல்டிவேட் இட் வில் நாட் கிவ் குட் ஈல்டு ஸோ இதெல்லாம் நீங்கள் அனலைஸ் பண்ணி கல்டிவேட் பண்ணிங்கன்னா இட் வில் ப்ரொடியூஸ் குட் ஈல்டு ஓகே தென் கெமிக்கல் ஃபெர்டிலைசர்ஸ் ஸோ ஆல் தோ வி நீட் ஒன்லி ஆர்கானிக் ஃபுட்ஸ் பட் சம்டைம்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் டு அப்ளை திஸ் கெமிக்கல்ஸ் ஓகே டு ப்ரிவெண்ட் ஆர் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் த க்ரோத் ஆஃப் த பிளான்ட் டு கெட் அ குட் ஈல்டு வி கேன் யூஸ் திஸ் கெமிக்கல் ஃபெர்டிலைசர்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் த ஃபெர்டிலைசர்ஸ் லைக் அமோனியம் நைட்ரேட் அமோனியம் நைட்ரேட் கால்சியம் பாஸ்ஃபேட் அண்ட் என்பிகே ஸோ அமோனியம் நைட்ரேட் போடுவாங்க கால்சியம் பாஸ்ஃபேட் போடுவாங்க அண்ட் என்பிகே யூரியா ஓகே கால்சியம் பாஸ்ஃபேட் யூஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க ஃபெர்டிலைசர்ஸ் தென் யூரியா யூஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க வாட் இஸ் திஸ் என்பிகே NPK is nothing but nitrogen, potassium and calcium. Uh, sorry, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Okay, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. So, N stands for nitrogen, P stands for phosphorus, K stands for potassium. Okay, so nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. So, NPK is nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. So, in the sattukal, nutrients, it will increase the crop yield. So, chemical fertilizers are used. So, sometimes we are using ammonium nitrate. and sometimes we are using uh, calcium phosphate sometimes we are using uh, this uh, what uh, urea sometimes we are using this npk that is nitrogen phosphorus and potassium not only in agriculture when you plant uh, crop uh, when when you plant a uh, uh, rose plant in your home we have to use these uh, what uh, fertilizers so adala use panna vendi idu use panna valanchina no problem but if it needs we have to use okay then pesticides and insecticides the chemical substance that is used to kill the pest is known as pesticides and the chemical substance that is used to kill insect is known as insecticide so some of the common uh, pesticides will be chlorinated hydrocarbon ammonium phosphates and carbamates are used so some of the common pesticides and insecticides in pathina chlorinated hydrocarbons okay chlorinated hydrocarbons ammonium phosphates ammonium phosphates and carbamates are used as pesticides and insecticide ammonium phosphates and carbamates are used as pesticides and insecticides so some of the pesticides and insecticides that are used will be chlorinated hydrocarbons ammonium phosphates and uh, our uh, what carbamates are used as insecticides and pesticide okay so idha pesticides and insecticides are. so although uh, we we require organic food we must uh, we have to follow these things okay so without uh, this knowledge we cannot uh, cultivate a crop so for crop cultivation and agriculture this three steps are very important soil testing chemical fertilizers and pesticides and insecticide of course you can avoid these chemical fertilizers and insecticides and you can prepare organic uh, foods also organic uh, crop yield also uh, but uh, if you need uh, if it needs you can use this chemical fertilizers pesticides and insecticides so in chemical fertilizers there are micro uh, micronutrients and macronutrients are there so this micronutrients and macronutrients are very useful for the growth of the plants okay so this is all about our agriculture nearly 40% of our uh, uh, total population they are doing this agriculture this is the largest self employment in our country so we have to uh, uh, encourage uh, doing this agriculture and uh, you have to uh, have a proper knowledge in this agriculture chemistry okay so that is very very important because it produces food for our day to day life okay so next topic we are going to learn is food chemistry okay so now only i told that food is very very important okay uh, uh, food water and air we breathe and proper place to stay so they are all very important for our day to day life so next we will we are going to learn about food chemistry food chemistry okay so what are the uh, three types of foods okay uh, so so already you have learned in the lower classes okay energy giving foods the okay, first one is body building food okay 
body building foods then second one the energy giving foods then third one protective foods protective foods okay so body building foods the food that is used or the food that is very helpful in the proper growth of our body okay that is known as body building foods example protein so protein is very much needed for the growth of our body okay so example protein so body building food example protein then energy giving food so the food that is required uh, to produce energy to do a particular work to do all the work that is known as energy giving food so from carbohydrate we get lot of energy to do uh, the day to day works okay so we, so this energy giving food example carbohydrates so proteins it is present in beans pulses okay all the whole grains protein is there then carbohydrate it is largely present in uh, potato uh, rice okay so these are some of the uh, sources of carbohydrate then protective foods so these foods are needed uh, to uh, protect our body from deficiency diseases or from diseases that is known as protective foods example vitamins and minerals okay lot of vitamins are there fat soluble vitamin water soluble vitamin then minerals so okay? a lot of minerals are there so that is very much useful to prevent our body from this deficiency diseases and uh, particular disease for caused from the disease causing uh, germs okay so these three foods are very very important and the diet that contains uh, these three nutrients in proper proportion it is known as balanced diet so in the diet la in the three nutrients vandu proper proportion la irko that is known as balanced diet the diet that contains these three nutrients in proper proportion it is known as balanced diet okay so uh, so maintaining a good health is also very important so for that we need balanced diet okay now what are the chemicals some of the chemicals used to preserve this food so nare chemicals vandu idha vandu preserve pandradhu use pandrom so food uh, food chemistry mainly deals with the good quality food production and the chemicals that are used to preserve the food okay and the bio energy that is used to preserve the food from the harmful microorganism so adala pathi padikiradha nammudaiya food chemistry and the food chemistry that deals with the nutrients okay what are the nutrients we have to take what are the nutrients we have to intake for the good health of our body so idella pathi padikiradha enadhu food chemistry so food chemistry is also very very important and agricultural chemistry is also very very important so these are all the important uh, topic to be learned that will be very helpful for our day to day life okay so today we have learned about agricultural chemistry and uh, food chemistry okay so that is very very important so you learn what is agricultural chemistry and uh, say so, uh, and uh, second one you learn about food chemistry you learn and write about food chemistry so agricultural chemistry and then you learn about learn and write about food chemistry okay okay so food chemistry la enna na type of quality food namlaala produce panna mudiyum enna na type of nutrients vandu nama vandu saapta nama vandu nammude body ku helpful ah irukum and what are the preservatives that are used and what are the preservatives that is used to preserve the particular food from the microorganism so what are the properties when it gets spoiled or when it is in a spoiled condition so id ellathileyume pathi padikirathu the the scientists they are doing research on this okay that is known as this food chemistry so the food chemistry is also very very important in our day to day life okay so so to, today we have learned two concept agricultural chemistry and food chemistry so agricultural chemistry abadina nam sadharanama poi or crop production o edho panira mudiyadhu so indha mari enna enna soil eppadi irukku adude quality eppadi irukku so adu paakanum so fertilizers adukku enna enna nam use pannalam and pesticides and insecticide and the particular crop ku enna enna kudukalam particular disease and the crop ku vanda enna enna kudukalam so adala pathi therinjikonna we have to learn this agricultural chemistry okay that is very very important okay so uh, now this agricultural chemistry is of uh, wider interest 
ஏன்னா வர வர வந்து ஃபுட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் லேண்டெலாம் வந்து லிவிங் ஏரியாவாக மாறிட்டு வருது அப்போ வந்து இட் நீட்ஸ் மோர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஓகே பிகாஸ் வி மஸ்ட் ஹாவ் குட் ஃபுட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் குட் ஈல்ட் ஆஃப் க்ராப் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆர் ஃபுட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஸோ அப்படி இருந்தால் தான் வில் கெட் ஃபுட் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபார் தேட் வி ஹாவ் டு லேர்ன் தீஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டாபிக்ஸ் இன் அக்ரிகல்ச்சுரல் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி வி ஹாவ் டு லேர்ன் திஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டெக்னிக்ஸ் தட் வாஸ் அப்ளை டு கெட் குட் ஈல்ட் ஆஃப் த ப்ராடக்ட் குட் குவாலிட்டி ஆஃப் ஃபுட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் டு ரெடியூஸ் த காஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபுட் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் வி மஸ்ட் லேர்ன் திஸ் அக்ரிகல்ச்சுரல் கெமிஸ்ட்ரி ஓகே so you will write the assignment in the back side of the note so learning each and every topic is very very important so learning this food chemistry is also uh, very important then what are the chemicals in our food what are the goals of food chemistry okay so that and all you have to learn from this concept so goals we have to produce good quality food we have to prevent the food from being uh, uh, affected by the microorganism so these are the goals of this food chemistry what are the chemicals added in food so and the chemicals add avradanal what is the condition of the food so everything the scientists they are learning they are giving from this uh, food chemistry okay so we have to learn this food chemistry also uh, so this is also an important topic in our day to day life so i hope you understood the today's class don't uh, skip or avoid any videos uh, you be regular for your online class do the assignment on the day itself so when the uploaded videos uh, you give the preference and do the assignment and then you can do for next videos or next subjects other subjects okay so don't postpone or avoid uh, the online class or the videos so it will be very in, uh, very uh, useful for your day to day life for example this applied chemistry this lesson is very very useful you will gain more knowledge Uh, and that will be uh, applied in our day to day life and you will always come across in our day to day life these topics okay so this lesson is very very important you give more importance for each and every topic not only the assignment you study the other questions also na kudukra assignment da padikanum illa other questions neenga padikalam okay so thank you for listening to me so uh, please do the assignment on the date itself thank you